along the way. <laughs> I'm going to say 90. 42. She's getting me on the plane this point. Let's go. That's the great That's look, fine. Drew. I'm just saying, if they get uncomfortable for you, you can take them off because you have you know, those buses. Um, this is the mill department. Uh, raw lumber comes from different parts of the world, different thicknesses, different types of trees. Um, we use swamp ash, mainly for the base. Um, equatorial mahogany, right up there for the mahogany, uh, excuse me, for the majesty necks. Right. Um, this is something new. This is this brown wood right here is alder, but this is the new roasted alder. Normally okay. alder is a little bit lighter brown, a little more reddish, but now we're starting to use roasted alder. What, for, across, across the board or on no, specific No, just on models specific only. models right now. Um, they'll be uh, uh, in the future, you'll see them. This is a majesty. It's in mid-production wow. that stopped. And it stopped at the tool right there. But if you look up there, those are all the different cutters to cut all the different angles and shapes on the Majesty. Just for the Majesty? Just for the Majesty. So it has its own entire set of tools? Yeah. And this is a many step process to make the Majesty. Other the body is just glue up the, the blanks, stick in the robot, you have a body. But with the Majesty, it's both body and neck. So there's many, there's a lot more steps involved. So is this still the most complex this design is, that you guys currently make? Yeah, as far as body and neck. And then, I mean, as far as designing the Kaizen, I was sure that was just as complex. But yeah. since it's held down by suction, you have to find areas where it can work. And that's where the, this is that's, all held down by suction. That's what you're paying for. Yeah. Its own set of tools in production. It's got its first staining on it. There's a two part stain on this. So this is the first of the stain. You can see right there, it's starting in the back of the neck on the Majesty. Obviously we don't really care about it here. It's all hidden. But this is the first stage of the staining. It's quite a selection there. Yeah. yeah. You see Kaizen's are always all over the map, right? These are all Kaizen's. These are in different stages, right? They just painted the headstock, 
So now they're waiting for the, uh, the decal and yeah. silk screen on there. And Drew was telling us earlier, this, this arc was something that you've never really done on headstock before. No, right. so. no. Uh, the bongo a little bit, you can kind of see it right here. We've done it on the bingo, but not on the guitar. You yeah. can see it on the bongo. That looks so great. I, a, love, I love that. Headstock. This has a more of a swoop than the yeah. bongo. This is actually the opposite direction, right? The bongo goes fat this way and thin. And yeah, then yeah. It's fat to yeah. Thin. So it's just the opposite of the bongo. and piping hot in only three microwave minutes. You've done all the thinking for us. First day, I, I was like a Gilmore fan, and I went into Manny's music, and I'm like, I want, I want a high watt. Yeah. You know, I want a high watt. I like doing that because I feel like I understand where technology has come from. And that's kind of funny. Is a lot of, like a lot of my heroes. I later found out played very heavy, heavy guitars. guitars yeah. Make this amp for Eric mm. reliable. Back in the day, I remember I used to have plexis, and I would blow one speaker. You know, I'm just excited to improve product and improve the way things are done every day. Cool. So Chris has kindly picked us out a few different tops here. We're going to pick out some some nice figured woods for some custom builds. Uh, we often try and you know get some cool specs together and try and get some really nice tops and stuff. And Chris has kindly been down to the wood shop. Easy job done.
with Carlos. So Carlos, what have you been up to? So I've been hiding away and doing my thing and trying to produce as many guitars as I can. Yeah. So you've um, things have kind of spiraled out of control fairly quickly. It did. Oh yeah, it did. It's 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 out of control where I can't keep up. And it's it, it's a good thing. It's a it's a blessing and a curse. One of the things you found a uh, you know a lot of builders take a long time to find their kind of place in the market, don't they? But you've sort of figured out the baritone. Oh, then yeah. I, I've, I've, yeah, like I know who I am. I know what I want to do and I just do it. Yeah. You know, there's there's no more, you know, playing around. <laughs> no, and um, we were just checking some guitars out earlier. You know, some cool stuff like the baritone with the fuzz in and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Is that just stuff that you've kind of messed around with for yep. years and stuff? Well, no, it's just, it's really just, uh, I wake up and I say, Hey, what does a, a baritone sound like with the fuzz in it? Like, what can we do with that? You know what I mean? And it's just, it, it's, uh, I have the privilege to, you know, rub shoulders with the who's who in this mm -hmm. industry mm -hmm. and picking their brains and seeing, you know, what would you like to do? Mm -hmm. How would you want to do things? And, and doing it, not, not being, you know, constrained to anybody's agenda. Yeah, but it has to be this, that, or, mm -mm, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, watch this space. It's going to be more cool guitars coming. Thanks, Carlos. Thank you. Awesome, man. We're we'll absolutely it. chuffed out of the guitars. It's going to be killer. <laughs> Cheers, guys. It, it goes into the time warp. <laughs> vintage amps so um, I always wanted to do a vintage Vox style amp you know or a, you know UK Voxy okay. style amp uh, voicing options we, we still have the gain structure which we had we have a fat switch now and then we have a sat switch now because sure. generally speaking it's like mixing a record I always say you mix it a low volume get all the levels right you turn it up it sounds great do the same thing really loud and then listen to it low you're like oh that's it and and you know, certain things do have to work at low volume, and that's where you get into the realm of these new crazy pedals and, and, mm -hmm. and simulations and IRs and stuff. But when you turn those up, they don't always translate mm -hmm. to how it, sh how it needs to sit in a, in a band mix, or like you said about on a record. Yeah. The last time I played the V2 was, I think, 2020, the Steve Stevens amp. Mm -hmm. When you just that's finished really, it. That's really, really cool. I can't wait to play, because he's one of my favorite 
guitarists. Yeah. And I always remember even the V1 of that amp had mm -hmm. probably the best approximation of that, where the, the gain channel felt really spongy and alive, and then you had this beautiful clean as well. It, it probably is the best approximation. Well, folks, Jack here from Peach Guitars in a rather special location, which you definitely won't have seen us in before. Rather than the standard factory fair, uh, we've actually been invited to Peter Aaron's head designer at Bad Cat, his house. For sure, that should be accessible at any volume level, which is also very important to me. I don't want an amp to be cranked to actually sound good. Mm -hmm. I want it to, to sound decent at a bedroom level, right? Like. I, I can play here at home. Or living room level. Or living room level, for yeah. that matter. Mm -hmm. um, and in the, in the same way, I, I want the overdrive channel to really clean up nicely so that you can use it and that when the overdrive actually kicks in, that it doesn't get nasty or, or kind of fuzzy, I should say. And by the way, Peter's got an extremely enviable guitar collection, and I saw this uh, 59 yes. Junior on the wall. I had to play this guitar, and I think it really... The simplicity of this, it certainly does. And I think the simplicity of just one pickup yeah. and a really interactive volume control plays right into the hands of an amp like this. <laughs> he very discreetly added the fact that there's tremolo built into the amp. And we were talking about this actually just before. Yeah. It's a bias trim. It's a bias trim. Yeah, so really interactive, really dynamic. Yeah. Ah, the sun is out. 
I'm going to introduce him. Designer, Kiyoshi, and Hi, Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. production Hi, I'm leader. I'm John, pleased to meet you. Hi, Jack. 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 We've, we've talked business, and now <laughs> we're here to see, um, here to see the factory. And of course, you know, I, we respect that, like all design, yeah. of course, you know, I, I, I'm vintage nut, like, yeah. you know, for myself. The yeah. checking on the back of that yeah, looks great. That looks fantastic. Yeah. 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 I mean, seeing some finishes here on the back wall that mm -hmm. I definitely haven't seen before from you guys, like the Paisley's there. Great neck. That neck, neck. look at that. Yeah. 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 More of an orange. <laughs> yeah, that's right. cool, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Could do a like, black pick guard, mm -hmm. XSC4. Right. Look cool, wouldn't it? Flip yeah. that over if you don't mind, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You see that beautiful grain in there. I love the, um, yeah, that's cool. It's got like, um, it's almost like stained. You know, you can see like uh, there's patches where it's like a bit more greened out and stuff. Yeah, very lovely and light as well. My eye was caught straight away by the stabilized top. Yeah. Uh, everything you see here, everything was placed by hand, everything was sculpted by hand. I mean, we bake them. This again, with it oh, being great. with it being a gloss finish, we've got to bake the finish a little bit. All custom shop assembly in one room. I think he said this one was originally purple, and they painted gold. Nick Johnston Atomic, so. It's basically put together the same way as that. Sure. Um, Ceramic once again, or is uh, this these are Alnico? actually Alnico. Perfect. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think Every you can night. get this in the UK. This, right. the bourbon. Folks, Jack here. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, got ahead of myself. Jack here. Today's quite an interesting day for us because we're taking on uh, a very new experience, something we haven't really had the chance to properly explore yet. We've taken on a brand new brand at the shop, kind of mid last year, I think it was. Tom Anderson Guitars, and we turned up at the factory today completely unbeknown to us. We've got the main man himself, Mr. Tom Anderson, who's kindly agreed to give us a quick tour of the factory. And we don't really know what to expect from you guys. We've only seen yeah. five or six instruments so far, and you were just saying that they're all kind of in one particular direction, the, yeah. the flame top. Amazing yeah. looking, amazing yeah. playing guitars, but you guys are really so much more than just that. Yeah. So we're all quite excited to see a little bit of everything. And uh, so I'm gonna kind of let you lead the way here okay. throughout the factory, and we're just gonna check out the general operation so you guys can see exactly yeah. what you're waiting for but I don't think you're going to be waiting too long, hopefully. Yeah. Visually that we've seen. Yeah, so lots of variety. 
So this is going to get a purple burst around the edges. Here's that black with the with the dog hair in it okay, now. So yeah. this will get sanded level, and that's all stain. Yeah. And the dog hair is really quite a unique thing. I guess that's uh, I've not any, really seen any other modern builders doing that. Yeah, um, it's 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 around. People are doing it. We're we're doing we're having a lot of fun with it because we're doing different colors of dog. You know, we we do white, we do a red, we do a green. We, you know, sometimes right. people get. Bora dog hair with a Bora top and stuff. So it's is all... there any tonal change that you find with that oh, kind of process? Or... No, no. It's, there's no not more finish. There's no more finish on it. There's no, you know, it's not thicker. Um, yeah, it's just it's just, it's, just it's filled with white instead of filled with, you know, like a uh, ash guitar would get filled with brown filler normally. Okay. Just, we have the best crew we've ever had now, and like you said, it just feels it just feels really right. great. And when everyone feels great, they do the best work they can possibly do. Happy to be here, Jack.
Go on, give us a smile, John. Come on, wait, smile. <laughs> <laughs>